Greetings, greetings. This may look like a little bit of a mess, but actually it's not. Um, I put off videoing this because um, the lighting is so bad in my bedroom for, for making videos that it's really tough. But at any rate, this is a bedside caddy. And I've made several of them um, for college students going off to college. And I wanted to show this to you because this one's going to go on Etsy. Um, let's give you some dimensions real quick. Across the front, it's going to be 30 and a half. You've got these to hang on the railing or the frame of your bed. Okay. Um, it is, what did I say, 30 and a half. Top to bottom, it is right at 13, we'll say. Now, this is a really cool thing. As you can see, I've got places where you can put your pens. Okay. I've got a little pocket in here for your glasses. I've got a cell phone here. I've got a, a device that could be six and a half by three and a half easily, about oh three quarters of an inch thick, and and still with more room, you could put something thicker in there if you wanted. Over here in the center, I have my Kindle Eight. Um, down here in the second pocket. I've got a um, piece of cardboard that I designed to be to fit my sister's iPad, which is eight by uh, ten by eight by three quarters. So that fits easily, easily, and I'm holding it up. Um, it's about an inch more you could put in there. Over here, a pair of glasses again. Uh, space that you could easily put a five and a half by three and a half uh, remote control, um, uh, phone, glasses. Down here, I've got my old Kindle. Bless, it's a little hard. It's almost out of charge. But I was thinking that you could probably easily put. Let's see. Let me pull this out. Maybe not in height, but I would think that your DS threes could be about that thick and you could easily put one of those in here now what makes this unique I'm going to tell you what makes it unique is on each um, problem is when we go to bed and we use our device um, then we want to charge it and it ends up all on the counter there's a hole down here at the bottom you can run your cable through connect up your device to the cable pull it in there and charge your cable. Now same thing happens up on this pocket here. Plug in your device, toss it in the pocket, presto, charge. Um, same thing here, you've got a connection of holes put in your cable on the back pocket. On my Kindle pocket. Where's my Kindle here? Right there. Over here, same thing. Now, the only pocket I don't believe. No, I did not create one for this uh, slot for this pocket here. But this one where the phone is, it's the wrong kind of connector for that, but easily enough to pull through there. Back here, um, you could put remote controls, your Roku, 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 whatever that is. Anyway, now, the, the really extra cool thing about this bedside caddy and most of them that I've made is that there is a center sling that goes all the way through it. I can't really show you, but it goes all the way through. You could put a box of Kleenexes in there. Um, here, I can show you this. 
Let's say this is a box of Kleenexes, okay? Fit right in that little groove right there, and it all hangs on the side of your bed. So everything you need is right there waiting for you. It's a bedside caddy, and I'm going to put it up on um, Etsy. It is made from a type of synthetic kind of faux wool um, cotton per, uh, blend and uh, black denim. Uh, some D-rings here you could hang something off of. I like to hang um, um, my flashlight off of mine. I don't have the ring, but I mean the hook, but you could get you a carabiner hook uh, clip and clip that on there. Yeah, phones have flashlights, but what if your phone is dead and you need to charge it and you need a light in between? So you just put your little hook on there and hang it. Anyway, it, it, it hangs on the side of your bed. Very neat, tidy, and nice looking too. Okay, thanks. This is Jennifer from Jennifer's Closet for TexasSisters.com for TXSisters.com. You have a great day. Thanks. Peace.